journey that stretches over 2,000 miles. It may be long, but it's crucial to the survival of the eastern monarch butterfly. So the monarch butterfly depends on these plants. This species of butterfly has seen a significant decrease in numbers. Over the last decade, many factors played a role in their demise, but the loss of milkweed has been the biggest problem. The monarch butterfly has been uh, disappearing for the last 10 years and uh, because the environment's changing and the lack of habitat, too many pesticides, and um, they can only have one plant and that's milkweed. Milkweed serves as a food source for the larval butterflies. This means that without it, new butterflies are a lot less likely to be born. O'Donnell is making strides to get that weed back in people's gardens. We do a lot of presentations. We sell milkweed at the uh, Clarence Hollow Farmers Market, and we get people to put that in their perennial gardens because everybody wants butterflies, but they need to have the right host plants in order to get butterflies. After 15 years of doing this, O'Donnell and his wife Alexis say their favorite part of the job is seeing the people looking at the butterflies and enjoying them as much as they do. I love pretty butterflies. They always like kind of like land on people. It was really fun. It tickled like I had a bunch of snowflakes on my hand. Educating the children is also up there on their list of favorites. Yeah. They're getting away from the television and they're getting like back to nature and then those are the people that are going to be growing up to be adults and taking care of this planet so it's very important to me. Although this was the last release for the year, the O'Donnells say there's always next year to get in on the fun. They release butterflies every year pretty close to the start of September. Until then, he is at the Clarence Hollow Farmer's Market every Saturday from 8 a.m. through 1 p.m., educating people on the insect. In Clarence, Kaylee Went, News 4.